Alright everyone, this is Ross, and I want to do a quick video uh, really comparing two peaches. One, a store-bought peach. It's got some nice color, pretty decent size to it. You can see the sticker here. Versus a homegrown peach that has some, uh, some bug bites on it. We have some plum cacurlio that probably bit this. You know, some markings over here. We got a little bit of uh, damage here on the skin. Uh, but this one was tree ripened. So this one we picked directly off the tree. Uh, it's quite soft, meaning that it's, it's very ripe. And this peach here was not picked tree ripened. Um, it was picked with the intention to ship uh, a pretty far distance to then ripen on your counter. So this one's still quite soft now, but the difference between ripening something on the tree versus ripening something on the counter is quite significant. Um, and I wanna just demonstrate that for you. You can see my peaches, you know, we're inside right now. It's, the sun's coming out now, you can see that. That's a great sign, but the peaches are there in the back uh, against the fence, you know. I have two peaches in the ground third year in the ground giving me 200 peaches and they're massive you know the standard rootstock is doing really well for me uh, I have Red Haven and Alberta both disease resistant varieties that are just doing really really well and have a nice shape to them um, so I think growing peaches at home really isn't all that difficult for me in this area we do have to worry a little bit about plum cacurlio and just picking up fallen fruit on the ground um, but overall if you get a disease resistant tree a di disease resistant variety you won't have to worry about too much so let's bite into the the store-bought peach first and uh, see how it tastes not bad you can see it's quite ripe not that juicy you know it has a nice sweetness to it nice peach flavor you know this isn't like a really crappy peach you know this is actually a pretty good peach compared compared to what I've had in the past and then we have the homegrown let's try this all right so I had to move the camera here because every time you bite into these peaches, guys, they're so juicy that the juice just comes all the way down your shirt if uh, you're not careful. This one is, is uh, significantly better. I mean, um, the store-bought peach isn't actually that bad compared to some other uh, store-bought peaches I've had, but this one I think blows it out of the water. It's just really, really juicy. It's sweeter. It has a more intense, uh, more intense peach flavor to it. I would compare this to. Do you guys ever have the uh, the peaches you can get in like uh, cans, or you can get them in like a little plastic cup, and they usually have syrup in them, and they're not good for you, but they have a. They're really, really sweet. That's how sweet this is almost. It's almost absurdly sweet, uh, but in a well-balanced way, you know? It still has some acidity, so it's not like overpowering, but it's almost competing with that level of sweetness in my mind, and it reminds me of that flavor, that ripe peach flavor, the intense peach flavor. So for me, I think there's no comparison, and I just, will always be growing homegrown peaches because of just that's how good this is. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I think you really should grow food at home. I mean, there's no other way to say it. The, the stuff you can grow is gonna be better. You don't have to be a master peach grower. You don't have to be an ancient Japanese or Chinese chief tea farmer to grow high quality tea. It's all in just small little practices like for one tree ripening so anyway guys thanks for watching and i will see you for the next one all right take care